Hey little mamas, welcome back to another video for those that are new. My name is Erica Renee, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video is going to be just me showing you all some of my favorite like body care products, things that I like to use in my feminine hygiene routine and like shower routine. So yeah, I have a couple of products that I have showed you all before and I'm just bringing them back because girl, they're my favorite. And I also have some new items. So if you're interested in seeing this video, make sure to keep on watching. First things first, I wanna say thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channel. I know I have some new subscribers here, so I just wanna say thank you so much. So let's get right into this video. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is some body scrubs. I'm a body scrub girl, okay? I love me a good little body scrub. Preferably, I like to use body scrubs that are a little rough, so this one is right up my alley. So this one is going to be from Way, and when I tell you, this body scrub is so bomb. So this is on the like rougher side. It can be used for your scalp, and it also says body scrub. This smells so good. I just love scrubs that have like that grown like woman scent. It's like that perfumey type smell. It's not like fruity. Yeah, it just smells so good to me. Like, I just love this scent. I cannot describe how this smell. I'm so bad at describing like how stuff smells. So forgive me on that. But this smells so good. If y'all haven't like tried this out, I really highly suggest you go try and smell this. It smells so good, y'all. And I just love the texture of this. Like I said, it's like very like rough. And I like that. I like my scrubs to be rough because I feel like if it's not rough, then it ain't doing enough so yeah this is so good this is i think 34 dollars at sephora so girl i really want to try their lotion as well they have a um a body lotion that i want to try girl i need to pick that up but this is so good okay so the next scrub that i like to use and this scrub is not really on the rough side i would say maybe it's like kind of like mild a little bit it's not too rough at all so this scrub is going to be from a skin fix and this is the one that has the glycolic acid and the lactic acid 5% of each one and this is also a vegan and cruelty free type of scrub so baby we love to hear those good things okay vegan free cruelty free and it has the glycolic acid and the lactic acid which I think is good for like um, keeping your skin soft and moisturized so girl this right here I alternate between the one I just showed you all and this one I really do love these and this is a pretty big bottle I think this was like maybe $42 I'm gonna um, have stuff linked down below in case y'all wanna check it out. Yeah, but definitely check this out. If you're like, I feel like this is for people who have like sensitive skin. Skin Fix, it gives me the vibes that they're like marketing towards people who have, you know, sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, like me, this is for you girl. Okay, so let's get into like some body washes and a little bit of skincare. So I have been loving to use this body wash from Skin Fix as well. Skin Fix is kind of that girl, okay? So, yeah, this is their Foaming Oil Body Wash. The only thing I can say about this is I don't really like that it doesn't sud very well. I don't know. I'm just like that type of girl who likes their body washes to really sud. I feel like, like I said, if it ain't sudden or if it's not too harsh, <laughs> I feel like it's not working. Like, with my scrubs, if it's not too harsh, I feel like it's not working. With my body washes, if it's not foaming, Feel like it's not working like that's the only thing that i don't like about this product is that it doesn't um it doesn't sud at all it's just like i don't know y'all it's just i don't know but i do like this but that's just like one of the things that i can say that i don't like about this product but overall i feel like this is a good product this is um for people who have eczema that's what it says on the bottle it's an ultra mild sulfate free body cleanser for dry sensitive and eczema prone skin so your girl like me I have eczema y'all okay so let's get into some skincare so my favorite and the only thing that I use y'all is um, this kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser from you to the people girl I've been using this for a couple months and I really do like this it gets my skin it gets my face pretty clean I feel like when I use different types of cleansers I just don't feel like I don't know I don't think it's anything special about a cleanser in my opinion like I don't know as long as it gets my face clean but I don't see a cleanser really like helping me with breakouts and things like that if that makes sense I do think this is a good cleanser but I don't think I'll see a difference in like my breakouts but I think this is a good cleanser if that makes sense <laughs> But um, I really do love using uh, You To The People products. Their products are really good. Um, this smells good. I love the smell of this. It smells like green tea. One thing about You To The People, their products be smelling so good. I have said this before. Their products 
top tier when it comes to the scents, honey, okay? And speaking of you to the people, I also have like my whole skincare and I use literally everything in my skincare is from you to the people, okay? Sponsor me. <laughs> but this is um, their Superfood Unity Exfoliant. So this has 3% AHA, 2% BHA, 1% PHA, and it has mandelic acid. Now, I don't know what mandelic acid means. I'm going to have to look it up, and, but it has that in there. This, to me, smells like ginger, and I love the way ginger smells, y'all. Like, it just smells so good, and I just love how their products are, um, I love how their products are, like, designed. I just love this glass look, and the green is just so cute, like... Then the next thing from their brand is their um, Clean Caffeine Energy Serum. I really love using this, y'all. This right here, let me tell you. I feel like when I put this on my skin, I instantly see a glow. Like, my skin just be looking glowy and just, it just be looking so good. As far as, like, firm and deep puff, I don't think I really see a difference in that area. I do have, like, bags under my eyes that I'm trying to get rid of, but I don't see that this is really making a difference in deep puff in my eyes. I've been using this for maybe like three months now and I don't really see a difference in that but overall I feel like this is a good product this is um, $68 it's a little pricey alright y'all so the next thing that I have is this serum from topicals this is supposed to help like with brightening and clearing any dark spots that you have on your body so I use this specifically for my little um, dark spot that I have on my nose cuz y'all every time my period comes around I always get a bump on my nose and it just never like heals correctly like it just always leaves a scar so I've been using this for maybe like um, I'll say about two weeks consistently now and I don't see a difference yet but I'm gonna keep on using it because I know stuff like this can take a little minute I'm gonna give this like maybe three months but I've heard nothing but good things about this so I'm pretty sure it's gonna do the job so yeah I'm gonna have to keep y'all updated on this and tell y'all what the tea is but this little mini thing right here was $15 like girl what but I, I ended up getting it because the girls on TikTok was telling me that this is good so we're going to see what it's giving. One thing about this, it really does not smell good, y'all. It's not, like, horrible, but because I put it directly on my nose, I can smell it. And it's like, I don't know, it just sh it, it smells like, um, what is it? What is it? The hair removal cream. That's what it smells like. And if y'all know how that smells, it does not smell that great. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, so the next thing that I have is actually a little perfume. And I have been wanting to buy this ever since I got the sample in the mail. This just smells so good to me. So, this is by Nest, and this is called Sunkiss Hibiscus. Baby, this smells good. This smells so good to me. So, I thought that this would be like a sweet scent based, like, based on the name. But it's not. It's giving me very much like floral. I don't really like floral scents like that. It's a few floral scents that I like. But I'm not going to say that I'm like a floral girl. But this smells really good, y'all. It smells like um, honeysuckle. Like like a honeysuckle. Is that a honeysuckle plant? Oh, my God. I don't <laughs> Honeysuckle plant? Girl, I don't know. But that's what it smells like. It smells like honeysuckle. I think Marc Jacobs used to have like a... um honeysuckle scent and I feel like this smells like that and y'all know what I'm talking about I think it's the original one it's like in the black and white box anyway this smells good y'all so I got me the sample size and I think this is like $28 so got this from Sephora it smells so good this is giving me very much like spring vibe scents like you would wear this in the spring I don't really know about I mean it's giving me like a spring vibe and also like a nighttime scent like if you was going like on a little date night this smells so good to me y'all so definitely check this out alright so the next thing that I have is actually my favorite go-to y'all this is my go-to so I love using these Sephora um, masks this is from the Sephora collection so these are the um, caffeine eye masks these specifically because caffeine is supposed to help with like deep puffing your um like if you have bags in your eyes like me and I really do like this y'all and it smells so good I love me a good little coffee smell okay this smells so good. I think these, they were on sale. Actually, if you've seen, if y'all had seen my last vlog, I was in Sephora. And they had these on sale. Buy two, get one free. So your girl had to rack up because, baby, that's a good little sale. So, yeah, check these out. I think they're like $2.98 or $3.98. Not too bad. Okay, girl. So the last thing on my list that I have to show you all is actually going to be from Fenty Beauty. Girl. Fenty Beauty, I feel like, in my opinion, has some of the best lip glosses ever, okay? And I don't try a lot of lip glosses, but Fenty Beauty, 
Rihanna knew what she was doing. So this gloss that they just came out with is called Ice. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? It looks so cute. I just love how the lip gloss is blue and the name is Ice. Girl. So this is basically supposed to be like a, it's called a cold hearted. So it's supposed to be like a cooling lip luminizer. It's not the, um, the lip plumping because that's what I thought this was. I was like, is this a lip plumper? But it's not. It's just like a minty type feel on your lips. It reminds me of like if you put on Carmex and your lips get a little tingly. And this smells like um, peppermint. So, girl, this is so cute. Like, I just love the name and I just love how it looks. Like, it's just so cute. I have it on right now. And just to let y'all know, if y'all don't know, if you have had like the clear gloss, the clear gloss is kind of on the thick side. She a little thick. This right here is giving me very much like just a thin, like a thin gloss. It's not as thick as the clear gloss. So that is basically the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know which product you're going to try, if you're going to try any. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Peace.